desperately should be cleaning my workspace behind me, just all around me. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to sit in my robe and talk to myself for like 20 minutes. This is what normal people do, right? Right? Normal people do this, right? I'm normal, so don't, I'm normal, right? <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I apologize. Why? Um, I don't know, we're just apologizing for existing, I guess. The hair is looking great. Okay, hi there. <laughs> um, it's still September, um, happy Halloween. I'm going to say that in every single video until it's actually Halloween, so get used to it. <laughs> um, but I finished another diamond painting. I'm sure you could guess by me, but by the thumbnail that the title of the video, the intro that you just watched, and the fact that this is the only thing that I do with my life is finish diamond paintings at a rapid pace and then talk about it and make force you guys to watch time lapse videos that are sometimes shaky, which I apologize. <laughs> but anywho, the diamond painting that I've done this week is um, Halloween Pug from Diamond Art Club by Re what is her name? Um, Marilyn Kaz. Okay, I've heard her name say be said as Marilyn Kazanov, but recently I've heard it said as Marilyn Kazanave. Um, I don't know which one's right. I'm probably just gonna flip flop between saying the both and then we'll call it even. But Marilyn Kazanov, Marilyn Kazanave, that is who the artist is. And in case you're not familiar with her kits from Diamond Art Club, I believe all of them are partial kits, which if you don't know what a partial kit is, yeah, I just hold on. Okay, here it is by the way, it's finished. I'm gonna struggle. Here it is, it's finished, it's so cute. Look at the puggy. Um, but basically, in case you can't tell by looking at it, basically what a partial kit is, is it's a diamond painting kit where the background is printed and there's no glue on it, so you don't put drills on it. So it's just a specific subject of the painting that you put drills on, which in this case is the pug and the pumpkin and the leaf, just everything except for the purple background. I'm gonna drop it on the floor now and you're just gonna chill down there, buddy. Um, I'll pick it up, cause that's bothering me. <laughs> but yeah, so all of hers, diamond paintings, as far as I'm aware on Diamond Art Club are partial kits. And um, I haven't done a partial since like, I think last year, I'll have to double check. But um, I think my first and only partial, besides this one now, that I've done is um, Splatter Alien. Don't ask me who the artist is on that off the top of my head, but. That, I've done that one, um, and then I wanted to do this one because I feel like partial kits are basically like snack-sized kits, which again, if you don't know what a snack-sized kit is, it's if a huge, if like Krabby Patties was a meal, a partial kit or a 30 by 40 kit, that's a snack because it takes you less time to work on it. I think you know what I mean, but yeah, that was two thumbs up. Why two thumbs up? It was great. I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just, I had too much coffee and I'm just like wired. Um, this kit is 22 by 22 inches, which is 50. I keep having to look down, which is 56 by 56 centimeters. So it's a perfect square and it is a square kit, square drill kit, two ABs. Um, it's basically an orange AB and a yellow AB and those ABs are predominantly in the pumpkin and leaves, the foliage around the pug. And the entire time that I was working on this kit, I could only think of um, the hobbyist life, AKA Sky, um, her dog Nugget, who is a pug by the way, in case you guys didn't know. And I am obsessed with him. So this is for you Nugget, not for you Sky, but for, <laughs> but for Nugget. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, I finished it. It's a beautiful Halloween-y kit. Um, and I did the whole thing on camera for you guys because what I typically do is with a full drill kit, I do the boring parts of the background first and I just keep the things that I think would be interesting for anyone who actually looks at the video when the time-lapse portions are playing. 
Um, and well, in this case, there's no background. And I thought every single part of the painting was important. So I filmed the whole thing, which didn't take that long. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, I did that just for you guys. You're welcome. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to get started. And by started, I mean, I'm going to film the next portion of the video of me talking and pretend that time has passed. I'm not doing a good job of hiding it, am I? <laughs> okay, enjoy the, enjoy whatever you're gonna watch. Have fun.
one thing I wanted to point out, no one in my audience has pointed this out because you guys are so freaking nice. Let me tell you, you guys are way too nice to me, but I've noticed this. Maybe no one else has noticed this and I'm just gonna dig myself in a hole, but I, so the camera that I film my face parts with is an, what is it? I think it's an iPhone 11. Yeah, an iPhone 11, but the parts that I film, I used to film everything on my iPhone 7 Plus with the cracked screen. Um, can you see how cracked that is? Yeah, I dropped her, like, I took off the case, and the one time I took off the case, I dropped it and I destroyed it. It still works, but what I'm trying to say is that um, I used to film everything, including the face portions and the time-lapse videos on this iPhone 7 Plus, um, and then I got a newer, the newer iPhone. Um, and I quickly realized that there's no zoom feature on the time-lapse portion or the time-lapse feature on this i on this newer iPhone. So it, basically what that means is I can't zoom in as I usually do in my time-lapse portions and you also see the tripod like it's just it's not good like it's way too zoomed out and you can't you can't just zoom in which is very annoying. So what I've been doing is face talking portions. I use this iPhone and the other one, the time-lapse portions, I use this one. Now, there's been a problem. Um, apparently with iPhone, older iPhone models, the six, seven, I think even the eight, um, sometimes the camera has this lovely feature when you're filming, even in time-lapse portions, where it just shakes. The footage just shakes for no reason. Um, it's not like I'm bumping the tripod. It just vibrates randomly. So I've noticed through many, many, probably all of my videos at this point that that happens. And I feel so bad because I'm pretty sure if you watch that on your TV, um, you're gonna get seasick when looking at those portions. Cause sometimes it doesn't shake and most of the time it does. And I'm so sorry because, oh, And when I looked up ways to fix it, they were not simple ways. You had to take apart the iPhone and like suture things and then you gotta, or you gotta take it to the Apple store. Um, and I wasn't about to do that. And But I found a hack where you basically take a magnet, magnet, <laughs> and you rub it all over the camera. And basically what the magnet is doing is it's slightly shifting something within the iPhone that is potentially causing the shaky footage. So I tried it and it actually worked. Now, like the next part that I filmed, it wasn't shaking at all. And so I'm not sure if I have to keep rubbing this magnet or any magnet on it, on the camera before I film a portion. So I think there's still gonna be some shaky footage after about the halfway mark. But after I tried that and then I filmed another section, there was no shaking and I was so happy. But then when I filmed another section, maybe a few hours later, there was some shakiness. So it may have to be a thing where I rub the magnet on. The last couple of clips of me working on this diamond painting, I was able to find a part of the phone where I was able to like stick the magnet on. Can I find it? Please, please work. Here it is. And I, I kept it on while filming and I haven't re reviewed the footage. Um, so if I just have to keep this magnet right here while filming and that prevents any shaky footage, I'll do that. That's fine. If this doesn't, if this did nothing, then I'm, I'm sorry, but I just want to let you guys know, long story short, it's never a shortened story with me, is it? <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that I'm aware that there's a problem with my footage and I am actively trying to remedy it and Sorry, I got a message. Um, and if you guys do notice it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then again, I don't expect you guys to physically look at my videos the entire time. I make these so that you have something to listen to while you're diamond painting or doing whatever you feel like. So hopefully it's not too big of an issue, but I am like borderline a perfectionist and that really bothers me. So I've talked almost five minutes about this one specific thing. Lovely. <laughs>
anyways, I'm going to carry on with the video and you guys will just carry on doing whatever you're doing. Um, and yeah, but if you guys have an older iPhone model, let me know if you've noticed any issues with that, with your camera shaking. Apparently it can be caused by people dropping their iPhone. And I've seen some videos where you just open up the camera and it's just the, it's just shaking and you're not, and you're holding the camera still. So I'm not having that problem. Luckily, it's just the time-lapse videos that are shaking. Fun. Great. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Anyways, there's an eyelash. There's something in my eyeball. Help. Okay. I'm going to let you guys keep watching.
still an eyelash in my eye. I think a fuzz? What is wrong? Give me a second. Oh my god. Did I get it? Do I look good, guys? How do I look? Great. Okay, thank you. You guys are so kind. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Like, like I sh showed you guys, it's finished. <laughs> so my plan is, as usual, I will be sealing it. And I, I do seal my partial kits. Um... I seal my kits no matter what, like I've mentioned many times before. So, and in case you guys are curious, the process of me sealing this, um, or just diamond paintings, it's not going to change for this. It's the same method. I just try not try to make sure I don't get glue um, on the actual background because I think it'll, I think it'll show slightly if I'm not careful. But yeah, gonna seal it. Gonna paint the borders black as usual, and I think. I'm gonna put this out maybe in the living room space so that my roommates have some Halloween decor to look at. But um, I don't know if you can see, but there's Halloween Kitty up there. It looks, oh, it looks so cute. Um, yeah, so got all that done. Um, and I've decided, God, I have random pauses when talking and it's just lovely. I need a nap. I've decided <laughs> what my next Diamond Art Club kit is gonna be, which is going to be, oh God, what is this called? Midnight Spell. <laughs> I'm gonna work on Midnight Spell by Chris the Bug. And I'm very excited because it is massive. It's gonna take a little while, but I'm just gonna put you on the floor. You're going on the floor with the other diamond paintings. I'm all over the place, I apologize, but also, um. Uh, anyway, I didn't even finish that thought, but the next video, I think it's finally time for me to do another section of this beautiful cr cross stitch conversion. So I'm going to do that next video. So keep an eye out for that. Um, really excited because I missed doing the, this work. Yep. I am an intelligent human being who just doesn't know how to physically talk sometimes. <laughs> so that's what's coming up. Happy Halloween. Like, I, I am fully aware that it is, it is September. But don't, like I said, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I got my Halloween costume because I am a child. <laughs> but I have something really cool coming in the mail that's going to tie in with my costume. And Spencer and I, on Halloween night, we like, we, well, Spencer has done this before, but it'll be my first time volunteering at this pretty big haunted house that's um, in the Bay Area. And I will be like a scare actor. So I'm gonna be a spooky witch with a specific type of familiar, you know, a pet, um, fantasy based. And I can't wait to show you guys. Eee, I'm excited, but first it's the Renaissance Fair and I'm gonna use that for the Renaissance Fair, multi-purpose familiar. <laughs> you guys, I think you guys are gonna really love it. Hopefully it comes in the mail soon. It's on the way. It's just, it's coming from China, so it's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff that's coming up. I'm going to put chapstick on camera for you guys because you asked for this. Don't think a single one of you asked for this, but um, yeah. Oh, I also have um, a Craft Ease Paint by Numbers kit that I want to work on for you guys soon. Oh, I want to work on it now. I'm just all excited and all over the place as you guys can see and I much prefer feeling this way than down in the dumps and I'm sure you guys much prefer seeing me be happy and it's probably a lot more entertaining to see me I don't know just I need it I'm gonna go take a nap I don't know I, I'm am I like a kid a little kid where I get all excited when I need to go to bed <laughs> it's still light outside it's it's 2 53 p.m and I'm in my pajamas still. It's fine. It's fine. I'm an adult. I can do what I want. God, so many of you have probably clicked off by now. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, this kit will be linked down below, but as of the 15th of September, it is not available. But it's not discontinued, as far as I'm aware. Um, Marilyn Kazanov, Kazanove, I, but she has a lot of these types of kits to offer. 
So definitely go check them out if you're interested in partials because they're very beginner friendly. Okay, again, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.